Shawty wanna with the GTI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please don't hit the curb and scratch the tire. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Storm. If you don't know who I am, I am the lead admin for the Too Fast Racing server and Discord. Um, you guys have been asking me for a tutorial on transmission tuning and how to use the modded transmissions. Uh, the transmissions we're talking about is going to be in the Adams Drag Mission, Drag Transmissions. Wow, English is hard. Adam's Drag Transmissions. Um, it's going to be in the, this mod here is the mod that we're going to be going over. You can get that on the Too Fast Racing resources repo. Um, probably going to be using the drag tires as well uh, just because they're easier to use. So you can go down here and you can pick up this transmission and this is the modded drag transmission that we're going to be going over today. So this car here, this is the Duvel. This is one of the RR built mods and one of the modded drag cars that you can get a hold of on the server. So it's got a pre-tuned transmission in it. We're going to pull it out, start from scratch, and I'll work through all of that with you guys. Um, this car has been built for no prep on this tune, so we're going to just go ahead and test on the no prep again. Um, and I'll show you guys kind of how to work through that. Unfortunately, just with the way it's set up, it's going to be slow because it's required to be off the trans brake and i got to put nitrous back on it. So we're going to work around that. The goal is to make this thing competitive, what would be competitive street time. So, currently, let's, I'll show you guys what this car does currently. Of course, it's not going to work because I need the nitrous. Give me a second. There's a lot of mods going on here, but the main focus is going to be that transmission. I just need to get the nitrous to work where it's supposed to. Cool. And Game did a new update to the nitrous button and broke it. That's kind of cool. We're just using the nitrous to spool the turbo because this motor does some funky stuff. Let's go here. And that right there is what we want to avoid. Okay. Do it this way. Start at the beginning. We're just learning the transmissions. I just gotta make sure the car's ready to go for it. Okay. And pull this off. This all looks about right. So, start at the very beginning. This has been four minutes of me messing around. So, 
the transmission we're working with is a drag transmission. I think we everybody knows that. Right now, it's garbage with the way it's tuned. So we're gonna set this thing back to stock. So transmission is gonna be under the engine transmission tab, and we're going to go with the two-speed power glide with the TH400 or the Linko converter based transmission those are all the modded transmissions that come in that pack um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the three speed we're going to start there normally with these I typically will go with the 2000 it's all dependent on what you want to do um, so all that comes down to it I always do manual, it's a preference situation there on that. What this does, the tun conver tunable converter gives you these options that you've probably seen before if you've done this. So the tunable, tunable converter has a coupling velocity and an engine inertia. Um, that is going to look something like this to start with. We're just going to start with the base converter. Right now with the base converter, this car is going to do some funny stuff. Like that. We don't want to go to the moon. We want to avoid that. Let me fix some of this real quick. So. First off, I'm going to fix this rear track set because it's bugging me. On the transmission, these are all geared typically for a quarter mile, so you really don't need to worry about that. The biggest thing is we're looking at this number here. Obviously, we left the line a little too hard. There's two things you can do to adjust this. The engine inertia, if you turn this up, is going to make the car spool slower. What that means for you is means it can potentially help you get off the line slower but might be what you need to keep the front end down obviously we've got way too much power in this car but change that ignition engine inertia slow down the rpm gain rpm gain i can english this is going so well But the motor feels really, the motor feels kind of sloppy. And the motor wants to hold the RPM more, and that's fine. Um, but we're going to avoid doing that. Your best bet is to try to not use this engine inertia. If you can avoid it, let's not use it. This defaults at 3 to start with. Typically, there's two ways to balance it. You can either go below three, like this, and slip the converter to keep the front end down. This typically yields a slower power number and speed number. Or this is just not gonna let me do it at all. Okay. We gotta go a lot lower than that. There's two ways to work this slider. You can either start lower and work your way up, or you can start high and work your way back. Starting high is going to make the car want to bog. Going lower is causing the converter to be slicker. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna slip like this, and it's not gonna put all the power to the ground. And that's what you're running into, is because the converter's so loose, it's not putting the power to the ground. So you gotta find the balancing act in between that. But converter tuning is the whole key to that. So right now we're pretty slick, so let's go up to 215. Typically a good starting point for those. And this platform will vary based on what car, what tire, stuff like that. But as you can see there, we started picking the tire up but we're still slipping. So all that is gonna come down to 
we got to get that converter right. Typically, I like to go on the high side. So if we go on the high side, starts at three, let's go like three, let's go three, five, two. Let's start there. When you're, one thing you're going to notice going on the high side that the low side didn't do is you're going to watch when we go on the trans brake, it's not climbing near as high on the RPM. But the car is going to put more of that power down to the road. So that's what we're running into here is the car is actually planting that power to the road with the converter being stiffer. So it's going to be a balancing act and unfortunately this car's got way too much power to even begin with. So it's probably a bad example. I'm going to lower that front end to help a little bit real quick. So the initial launch was pretty good. So because it was pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and bring this inertia up to 1.5 where I'm going to start with. And we'll see what that does. All this becomes a game of adjusting sliders to dial the car in. Unfortunately, there's really no quick, easy way to pinpoint it. You just got to find that balancing act. So overall, that was much better. Um, it still is picking the front end up. Potentially, we've got too much power, too much tire. Or the other thing is we can continue to load this converter up and go a little bit more. With it, just go a little bit more. And I think either way, we've got way too much tire. is we can get some gear ratios potentially but we're going to keep trying to dial this car in to the point it doesn't do it and unfortunately I think with this tires we might not have a choice And that was leaving off the trans brake. So where we're at now is leaving on the trans brake. I mean, we're only leaving with 560 foot pounds of torque. So we're not leaving with a lot of power. But that's what we gotta do to keep the front end down. That's what we're gonna do. Obviously I can need to adjust some gear issues and stuff like that, but that is the trick is you got to find that balance with that converter so now that we know we're keeping our front end down we can start backing this down a little bit let's go like three nine and see how the car behaves So the car got out of the line a little bit better that time. So it looks like we can continue. Keep bringing this down a little bit until we find the point where it wants to lift the front tires. The other thing with this transmission is you can adjust your gear ratios. I think first gear is fine, second gear feels short, third gear feels a little bit long but that's where we're at normally I try not to mess with these too much without doing the rear differential first I mean we're at 3-4 we can go to like a 3-0 that potentially is going to change the dynamic for that leaving again trans brake we're only sitting at just below 2,000. Front end wanted to pick up a little bit there. We ran a 1,360 foot, which is not horrible. 
definitely not where you want to be, but it's not horrible. We can continue coming down on this till we find the balance. And sometimes the cars can be picky enough to where it's one click. Sometimes it can be two clicks. You just gotta find that that balance point for what the car is and what it's doing. Our 60 foot still is staying about the same, so we can keep coming down on this, which is going to allow us to leave a little bit higher RPM, and allow us to leave with a little bit more power. Another thing that comes up with these transmissions is lockup gear. I've been asked about lockup gear. I don't care for the lockup gear. Um, I think it's kind of repetitive and it pulls some of the power out of the car. So if you're looking for an extremely fast car, I don't know that's the move, but you can do it. Um, it's not impossible. So now we're about over 2000. We're picking the front end up a little bit, but it's not bad. And our third gear is way too long. But we went to a 1260 foot. So that's the difference in the converters. You can continue to step that converter back and get to where you need to go. So third gear is excessively long at this point, so we're gonna go back to that. The lockup gear, it did what it's supposed to do for the most part. So I'm really not too concerned with that. I'm gonna go back down again a little bit more on the converter. And we're going to start getting closer to that ballpark of what we're looking for. Um, obviously, this is big tire, no bar. Obviously, that's too much on the converter. And now we generated a wheelie machine. So that's all it takes. Is all it takes is a couple clicks. So we obviously need to go back up a couple clicks. Just like that, we're close, but we're still pulling the front end up. Well, I failed to mention that we're running like eights right now. That's also fun. Again, a couple clicks up. So we stood up pretty quick and go up one. And I think we're leaving at a comfortable point with this car. let's do that let's go ahead and try that just one click up and that might be all the difference we need or it won't be and we'll need to go more than one click all a balancing act unfortunately that is kind of the way it goes I'm gonna go up a couple clicks here to slow that RPM just a little bit more to get out of the hole a little bit stronger. That's all it takes. Now we're at the six nines. So now if we play a little bit with the transmission, for example, go down here, let's shorten up, let's shorten up second, shorten up this, or the other option is we can shorten the rear differential, but we're not picking the front wheels up, so I want to avoid doing that. Avoid messing with that first gear at this point because we're not picking the front end up. So yeah, now we're into the six nines. Obviously third gear can get shortened a little bit more. Um, you could see that we were lighting the tires off a little bit. We're making that much power. 
we're going to shorten that up a little bit more and hopefully if everything goes according to plan we should be at like six fives with 2,000 horsepower Slipping in second gear. Okay. Going up third a little bit more. We don't need much. So this kind of gives you an insight to the transmission tuning. It's really a game of playing what what makes sense for the car. Do I need to be faster in the top end? That's a faster 6.9. So it all comes down to what will it take for me to get to where I want to go. Um, the drag transmissions, those are difficult um, to start off learning. Um, but once you get to them, they're not horrible. It all comes down to gear ratios and figuring out what do, what do I need to do. The converter. If you're pulling the power up immediately, then if you're leaving too hard and the front end's coming up, tighten that converter up. If you're not pulling the front end up, loosen the converter up. So get to the point where you've got this dialed in to where you're starting to pull the front end up or not pull the front end up. If you've gotten to the point where it's it's either one or one way or another. Adjust the inertia, slow the RPM gain down just a little bit by sliding this bar up forward and that will keep you from pulling the front wheels up. So this is a balancing act. This is going to be how hard you leave. This is going to be your, your fine tuning essentially to make that happen. Converter lockup gear, as you've seen second gear grabs really hard because of the converter lockup gear. If I take that out right now, we're going to be in a faster time, I can almost guarantee it. See, that converter lockup's not bad, but it's parasitic. It was a 6.7. It, it, when you're talking 2,000s of a difference, that converter lockup becomes a headache. So you can use the converter lockup for real high horsepower cars, or you can just avoid it. Either way, I don't know that you can go wrong. Right now, what you're seeing is how I'm bouncing off the RPM limiter. That's the converter slipping. You're seeing the converter slip in a second. Maybe. Okay, maybe I'm just not allowed to touch the environment anymore. Okay, anyway. Over here, you can see it spiking. That's that converter slipping. You'll see it kind of spike up and down. That's the main thing that you got going on there. Unfortunately, there's not much more that I can give you to help you with that. The only thing that I can recommend is just find you a car that you think is something you're comfortable with that is semi-competitive and take some time. Play with the converter. Make it make it pull the front wheels up and then dial it back into where it's barely pulling the front wheels up that's the easiest thing that i can suggest that's my easiest recommendation that i can give you is find a car or a tune that you put together that you like grab that converter grab that transmission it should preload your factory gear set, assuming it's a five speed. So your first three gears are gonna stay the same. You'll probably have to dial that in a little bit, but that's a good starting point. Make it pull the front wheels up, start dialing it back. It's the easiest thing that I can recommend. Unfortunately, 
it's one of those that I know there's not a lot of help out there and unfortunately I'm not very good at this and I do not have a good way of teaching without showing um, but I hope this video helps you guys um, I want to see you guys be competitive I want to see more cars that are wild and fast and I hope to see you guys on a later video peace